All right, guys. Today I'm gonna make something special. All right, I'm gonna make a boneless duck with a passion fruit cream, and I'm gonna serve this with a salad and a pear dressing. All right. Now, on all my past videos, I usually heat up the pan first and get it piping hot, but you can't do that with the duck, okay? So the skin is nice and delicate. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna pat it dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like little diamond shapes. I wanna, I wanna cut into the fat, but not completely all the way down that it touches the skin. And what this does, it reduces the fat and melts the fat away. Okay, and it gives it a nice crispy skin. Okay. Just like a diamond shape. Okay. Now I'm just going to add just simple salt. And some pepper. That's all I need. Okay. Now I'll put the stove on to medium high because you want the temperature to raise slowly. As the temperature is raising slowly and the duck is on the pan, it will start to cook the fat slowly so you're not cooking it too fast where it actually burns and then the actual meat is raw. Okay. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of butter. All right? Just a little bit of olive oil. Just enough to coat the pan. Okay, just gonna mix this around. I'm gonna check out my temperature. Skin down first, guys, okay? It'll be skinned down. I'm gonna let it cook. I'm gonna let it melt the fat away. Right now, my heat's a little too high, so I'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit to a medium low. This process here should take about 12 minutes. It's a six ounce duck, so it's usually 15 minutes, but I'm gonna do it in 12, because I wanna do some basting, okay? So we'll be back in about 12 minutes. All right, guys, so it hasn't been 12 minutes yet, but I just wanna show you how it would look in the bottom, okay? So, got that nice little crust going. All right, I'm just keeping an eye on the temperature. I wanna make sure that the skin becomes crusty. As you can see, this, the meat is still gonna be raw, but I'm not concerned about the meat right now. I'm just concerned about the crust. I wanna render this fat. So I'll be back with the next process. All right, so now we go check out it again, all right? Now you can see it's darker. This is a beautiful color, okay, for duck breast, okay? So I'm just gonna put it here now, and I'm just gonna add Chives, I mean actually scallions, sorry. Okay, and a piece of chive. Throw a piece of butter in there, okay. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna baste it, okay. And merge it with the flavors, okay. Now this here is gonna go in the oven at 400 for about eight to 10 minutes, okay? And what I wanna do is, I just wanna cook the meat at a medium rare, okay? And I'm just gonna turn this over, all right? And I'm gonna cook the bottom of the meat for another about another five minutes. Keeping the flame low, because I actually don't wanna ruin the meat by overpowering it with the heat because it's nice and tender. Okay guys? So once I cook the meat where it will come up to about yeah, to about maybe around here that's cooked and the inside that will look maybe kind of raw but it's not and I just put it in the oven afterwards. I'll be right back. Alright so here so now I've been basting it for the past five minutes or so as you can see Okay, nice and cooked, getting a nice pinkish brown color, okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to 
gonna transfer it over to this cast iron pot that I've been having in the oven nice and hot. Skin down. And the reason why I'm putting skin down is to protect the meat from direct heat from the actual oven itself, okay? 400 degrees, about eight minutes. I'll keep an eye on it, okay? Just drizzle a little bit here, just so it won't come out dry, all right? And I'll be back with the results. All right, so the duck is out. I had it resting, okay? This is the color I wanted from the skin. Most of the fat has been reduced. This is the color I want for the meat, okay? It's nice and mid rare right now. So for you guys want to know, if you pinch here, it's medium rare. If you pinch here, it's medium well. If you pinch up here, it's well done. Or you could use this for medium rare, this for medium well, and this over here for well done. However technique you want to do, okay? So now I'm going to rest this right here. I got some passion fruit that I cut in half, put in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I'm going to take out the pulp. I'm gonna set it to the side, and I'm gonna start chopping up the uh, skin and everything, and I'm gonna make a nice little sauce out of it. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so listen, I'm just gonna take the pulp out. You got all this nice juice that's coming out from the passion fruit. I'm gonna set this to the side, because right now I just need the actual skin, okay? and the pulp. Okay, so what I, what I wanna do real quick, okay, so I wanna do is I just wanna run this to the strainer, okay. Separate the juice from the actual pulp. Okay. Put the pulp in the saucepan. Then I'm just gonna chop two of these up real quick. I'm not gonna use them all. All right. So I'm just gonna make a reduction out of this. All right, guys. Just a couple of pieces. I just want the flavor of the skin. I'm actually not gonna even be using the skin as the sauce, but I just want it in there for the flavor, okay? So now I'm just gonna actually heat this up real quick. I'm gonna add some butter. flavors in there <coughs> okay once the butter starts to infuse with the pulp okay I have the flame too high okay I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar to the mixture and I'm gonna start removing it from the heat and I'm gonna start to stir it thank you okay Just want to remove some of these skins that I had. Just stay with the actual pulp. Okay. Then I have uh, heavy cream, room temperature. Let me just clean up this wish real quick, guys. Give me a do it on the fly we do it on the fly okay so now it's off the heat so I'm just gonna start making the cream okay
taste. Just put it back in there just a little bit, real low. Okay, I'm gonna go in and out of the out of the fire. Add some more sugar to it. Bit of more heavy cream. It looks like a big duck. All right, and I'm just gonna keep whisking this until it gets nice and thick. And I'm gonna start off now on my pear dressing for the salad. Be right, right back. guys. So now I have my duck resting. I got my uh, passion fruit cream over here resting. I got some salad here. So now I'm gonna make a pear dressing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Take these little tiny little pears, all right? Just cut them up in little pieces. Not too fancy, put them in a bowl, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna use this little baby here, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, okay? Rice wine vinegar, okay? About a teaspoon. Put the machine in there. If the machine does its magic. I have uh, melted butter, okay? So I'm gonna start incorporating that melted butter. But you guys get the gist of it, all right? I'm just gonna keep bringing it down until it becomes a puree. Add some salt and pepper to taste. Add some olive oil. Okay. Guys, make sure you taste it, just in case you put a little bit too much vinegar. You can compensate by either putting more pears or putting more sugar, okay? So this is what I want, okay? I'm gonna toss a little bit in the salad, okay? Let's toss the salad up. Okay, take some pears. Show some of the uh, pears to the salad. Okay. Respect the food. Just a little bit of this nice pear with a great cream, nice and creamy. 
Okay. Just get this out of your way. Here comes my duck. color you want it's nice okay just gonna put it right here like this okay got some of this passion fruit right on top of the duck Okay. Alright guys, so here you have, okay, pan seared duck breast with a passion fruit sauce, and then you have a salad, which is pears, with a pear vinaigrette, okay, bon appetit, thank you.